everybody and welcome. We are sitting here at High Tech Orlando and with me is Mr. Mike Blake from HTNG and HLA. Mike, it's great to have you here. It's great to be here. Thank Thanks you so much. Us. Thanks for joining us. Really so, Mike, tell us a little bit about your background. We always like to, we've only got a few minutes and we always okay. like to get people to give us a little bit about their background. So tell us about yours. How sure. did you get to be in the position you're in today? I think what's interesting about my background is I'm not a traditional technologist. So I actually am formerly undergraduate trained in accounting. Uh -huh. So I'm an accountant, but I love technology. And I started being the accountant for many big technology shops. So I understand a technology at a pretty detailed level. I had to actually go back to school and get a master's in computer engineering. Yeah. So I kind of understand it a little bit, but as former CIO of Hyatt and former CIO of Commune, and now the current CTO of AHLA, mm -hmm. um, and running HTNG, where we do standards and best practices for the whole world in yeah. hospitality, yeah. we kind of get into technology, yeah. so I love yeah. it. It's interesting, isn't it, how many people come from an accounting background. Uh, you're not the first. There's many people I know that have done that. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt to no. understand the numbers. No, for sure, absolutely. So tell us a little bit then about what's important for HTNG and AHLA. That what would be, in your mind, some of the, maybe the top three key areas sure. that you want to focus on? So I think, as all of us, are coming out of this pandemic, I think there are things that all of us should be start focusing on, right? Uh, most of us should be into our touchless apps experience, yep. right? So get all the touchless that you can, get that working so it's really well in your yep. particular hotels. And um, so touchless, I think, is going to be a trend that's going to be around for quite a while. Uh, as we start pulling out and start saying, okay, what else is out there? Uh, I'm pretty excited that some of the trends that we're seeing around brand.com versus um, you know other forms of distribution, brand.com is actually getting some level of preference. Mm -hmm. So all those all those investments within brand.com, so you know, are actually paying off. So maybe the customers will continue to feel comfortable to book in that channel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then finally, I would say, and this is more specific within HTNG and what we're trying to do within our strategic initiatives, is really heighten the voice within education and really try to help people understand technology. And this is an area where I think all of us could do this better. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a key issue, isn't it? The education. Yeah, factor. absolutely. Because I do think all of us need education. I'm still yeah. a student. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I just well, feel like yeah, exactly. all of us uh, are constantly learning and we we can never know enough. No, that's right. I think the day, there's a saying, the day you stop learning is the day you die. There you go. Uh, yeah, very good. All right, and then just finally, can you tell us perhaps a, a story, uh, a personal story that you've ha had in your travels over the years that's a bit quirky or that's a little bit different or something that you remember <laughs> fondly from your travels? Well, I, I, when you're when you're the CIO of a large brand, you know, you got 63 different countries that you're mm -hmm. kind of catering to. And at the end of the day, I always used to tell people, you know, there's something going wrong somewhere. I just haven't heard about it yet. Yeah. And, you know, when you start going around the world, you start seeing how common some of the experiences are. And you re recognize that there are no borders within IT and that all of us are one and all of us should be working together. Mm. And, uh, you know, I certainly do have a fondness for a lot of the Hawaiian properties. Mm -hmm. I love Maui specifically. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I have to say that I love Kauai yep. probably even better. And there's yep. a little place where I had my honeymoon called called the Princeville, which is probably my favorite because it was the start of a life where I now have three boys and a, and a wonderful wife that I love very much. Fantastic. Well, Hawaii is a beautiful place. I, I know you can't I can beat it. sympathize there. I've been there myself a few times and I, I love it. Yeah. Great. Right. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to Thanks to sit for down having with me, you. Right? And um, yeah, we can try the, the show. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Take care, everyone. Yeah.